Well, so here's my, my thought, my shower thought was when you are a kid as a, as a boy, you think girls are gross and you get told that you're going to have romantic feelings for girls. And for 85% of boys, that ends up being true. You're in your teens or early twenties. You're going to the bar every night. You're going to the club every night. Adults are telling you, you're going to outgrow this. And you say, no, you're stupid. Partying is the greatest thing in the world, at least for some section of the population. I know this was true of me. It's like, mm-hmm. this is the greatest thing. I'm never, why would I ever stop doing this? And then you outgrow it. And young people tend to be politically liberal. Old people tend to be politically conservative. There's these trends, these like truisms Mm -hmm. that they don't feel true in the moment. When you're the 19 year old super liberal person, you go, I'm never going to be conservative. And when you're the six year old or four year old boy, you go, I'm never going to like girls. They have cooties. What is the thing today for 33 year olds? Because that's how old I am that 40 year olds and 50 year olds would say changes over time that I feel like will never happen, but will absolutely kids. happen. I mean, I think it's kids. You think it's kids? It's not, I mean, what is, well, what's left? I don't know. I didn't have an answer. I was just thinking about it. I was like, I'm, they're always right. These truisms are almost no, always not, right. No, no, you're going to regret leaving your job. You're, you're, you're cherry picking. The truisms are. No, no, but that's not a truism. You're going to regret leaving your job. I feel uh, like there's like coming of age truisms. Where someone older than you tells you'll you you're going to outgrow. This. No, you'll grow out of this idea that this pie in the sky, do whatever you want, go live on the beach. You know, I, uh, come on, I, I, I travel too. I, I spent six months in the Peace Corps. Like you'll settle down and have a job for sure. No, uh, that, I, I, that wasn't the feedback we got. The feedback we got was from people who never did it, who said you shouldn't do it. The, it wasn't I, from people who had blazed the path. No, sh- no entrepreneur came to us and said, hey, listen, I, I my moved. dad tried to start a business. I know a lot of people who tried to start businesses like they they often didn't work. And sure. But no one came through and was like, hey, this worked, but was unfulfilling. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Uh, but that that's true of I think a lot of these other ones like uh, take kids. OK, it's likely to be true. And I, and I think it is. But uh, you got to talk to the 70 year old who doesn't have kids. It's not fair to ask the 70 year old who did have kids. I, I just am, I'm pushing back against the idea that they're always true because I think that that's. Well, no, they're not always true. Not, some boys never have romantic feelings for girls, but I'm saying they're, they're majority, the vast majority of the time they're accurate. I think if you have a category of things that people say to young people and say those things are, you'll grow out of this to say that that is always true is. Well, it's uh, not, you'll grow out of in it. Over, my in question, over exaggeration. My question is people have just lived the path before you mm-hmm. tend to turn around have accurate feedback for you Mm -hmm. that just seems dead wrong, right? That happens at most ages. Someone that's just done this path before you. Listen, I I was the kid at the bar. I was the four-year-old that didn't like girls. I was the uh, super liberal college kid. Who hated his job. I I think that, I guess I I agree that there are are sections of uh, conventional wisdom that sound foolish to young, the younger generation that, uh, become oh wow okay uh, like I, I fell right into exactly what they said yeah, yeah. Exactly so what do you think is fool what do you think is a foolish 30 year old belief my 30 year old belief or a 30 year old belief either um i think it's that acquiring money and stuff is what matters in life that you really need to fo- like if you ask 70 year olds like you know what do you wish you spent more time doing they there's the five things i wish i didn't fall out of touch with friends i wish i didn't focus so much on work i wish i didn't sweat the small stuff um i think that yeah, that, that tends to be the stuff. And I think a lot of 30-year-olds, though, unlike us, are, are you know, planning on having kids in, in the near future. So that's that's a personal thing, but I don't know that that's a... You think it's the focus on work, the focus on wealth accumulation? Uh, what do other 30-year-olds do? I mean, I have a bunch of weird 30-year-old friends. This is a strange... I don't know the... Um, stereotypical or prototypical 30 year old as well i guess well i guess okay so for you step you're you what flash forward say? no you flash forward to seven years old what do you think you look back on and go oh i never thought i would have told you that wasn't the case but that was absolutely the case i'm not getting as much advice these days a lot of like um my mom is the one that is constantly telling me that I need to uh, go get checked for blood clots because my dad got a blood clot and I need to go get my ankle checked because it was swollen the other day mm. and I need to uh, my back hurt I have to go to a Cairo like she, she's very concerned with my health in every single aspect that was another truism though yeah. to be fair mm-hmm. but older people used to say stuff like oh yeah, you got to stretch or oh yeah, yeah one yeah. day your body's gonna hurt and I said no you're just you just don't take good care of yourself yeah I eat 
organic. I work out every single day. I stretch every single day. You're wrong. Mm -hmm. And then I hit 32 and I went, what the fuck? I've worked out every day and stretched every day. And my back hurts sometimes when I wake up. So I think that's another truism actually that seems hard to believe at 22 or 25 Mm -hmm. and then feels pretty real in your mid thirties. It's like, yep, this, this machine that I live in has slowed down a little bit. You want to move to Florida? (laughs) <laughs> i think that's a maybe another one that there's the kids one is one i buy that coin slots are awesome and slot machines slot machines are really cool and you'll probably enjoy them at some point that golf is an interesting sport to watch and play well i'll give you one that you will agree with uh i think it's easier it's harder to find this believable for some people now some people in their 20s will just say yeah this makes sense but i think that cities are overrated Mm-hmm. that a yard in the suburbs is pleasant. Yeah, yeah. That's something I think a lot of 20-year-olds, myself included, would said, that's stupid. Mm-hmm. And then as you get older, you see people start to, all my friends have left New York to live in yeah. Connecticut or New Jersey or Hoboken. That's in New Jersey. But to just to get more space for themselves, even before having kids, just to get the space and be away from the noise. And I, I'm, I find that believable now. I'm still in a major city, but I go, yeah, I could totally see that being yeah, I guess in its better than being close to everything. I mean, I guess what's interesting is if you look at the way that dads dress with their like goofy strap sandals and their khaki cargo shorts and my dad has like a bucket hat. So oh yeah, he pra- doesn't get practicality like, over fashion. Well, what I realize is that I've been practicality over fashion my whole life, except that like I'm wearing gym shorts and a t-shirt. This was totally cool in high school and progressively less cool as I got farther and farther away from high school. So if, if I hit 40 and I'm wearing exactly what I'm wearing today, that will just, I will just be the dad <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so far away. And I, you had mentioned conservatives and, you know, you grow up and then you become a conservative. I think it's really that you just may, you just stay a 20 year old progressive forever. Like wherever you were at 20 is like, you want to move the world forward with that, that mind's eye, because that, that, those are the understandings that you went out into the world with. And that's the game that you play. Oh, yeah. And what that's is, how you made yourself. And you're like, okay, this is the game. And we moved it forward a little bit. And now that I've been playing this game, this is where we stay because this is the game. And uh, we moved it forward and we were done with that. Now now we've gone too far. But then, you know, the new generation comes up and is like, we want to move it forward, forward. Yeah, I do think in the political case, it's actually not necessarily that people's views change dramatically, but where, the, where their standing gets relabeled. Exactly. I think that that's... Yeah, I think that's the case. They People believe the things that they believed at 25 when yeah. they're 55, 65, 75, 85. More I don't more. know. Yeah, I don't know what he said, but I, Bill Burr has a joke about Donald Sterling where he says, I think Donald Sterling, according to Bill Burr, the quote was, I don't care if you have sex with, he, he, it's his girlfriend. I don't care if you cheat on me with black guys, just don't post it on Instagram. Yeah. And everybody said it's racist that you don't want your girlfriend posting photos with black guys on Instagram. And Bill Burr's take was, this guy's saying his girlfriend can cheat on him with black guys. He's 78 years old. When he was 28, he probably said this out loud. He's a progressive. And it was like, yeah. what the hell's going on? What are you talking about? Yeah. You know, and it's obviously facetious. It's not actually a reflection of the situation, but it is, I think it's a funny idea that represents what probably does happen, which is people just keep their views, but the world changes around them. And then mm-hmm. their views go from being liberal to conservative. Yeah. And, and it sounds like just, it sounds like in that world, it's like, oh, we always want to be moving things forward, which there's a, obviously a degree of truth in that. You don't want to get stuck. But the conservatives thing is that, and I, I'm discovering this, uh, I don't know if I'm American conservative or whatnot, but that there is a value in the way that things had been done. And if I, if I don't understand that value, I can't accurate, I can't safely throw it out. Um, I need to understand it to a degree. Now, this wasn't always true. Like at some point I was like, hey, is there a value to a, a desk job? Like, I don't see it. I'm out, <laughs> you know, and and it worked. Um, so there is a, you know, maybe you just have to throw caution to the wind sometimes. But uh, I, I talked in past podcasts about how traditions off, like religious traditions have very practical things where it actually helps with the elk hunt. If you, cra- if you burn the scapula of the last elk and you crack and you use that as a map because that randomizes where you go to find the next elk instead of following predictable patterns. So you're always surprising the elk based on cracks in the last one's scalpula. Like, like obviously that's a, that's a stupid thing and it's not giving you a map, but it has some 
deeper. It's superior views. than letting humans just go back than to like, where they. You know where I'm going to go today? The place with the easy trail to get to because <laughs> like that's where I, I got them last that, time. I enjoy yeah. that walk and it's got a nice tree on the way and I got them there last time and you know there's four places that I go to as opposed to oh damn this one is like up that craggy mountain and. Oh, what do you know? It led to like this awesome spot that Elf thought they were safe, but they're not because the scapula <laughs> Cause the led bone. us here. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot more of that that I'm seeing. Um, but it's yeah to say that it's one or the other is silly because a lot of conventional wisdom is also trash, and I only discover that by living it for a while and then going, "Damn, you set me down the wrong." The you betray wrong path. me. Yeah. Um, Hope that you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to see more like this and have us do more podcasts, we are 100% funded by our generous patrons. And if you'd like to contribute, there's a link in the description and we'll have one pop up on the screen right here so that we can do more podcasts where we have fun conversations and hopefully some deep ones like this. Either way, hope that you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.